welcome to Business Unusual. We continue talking about how to thrive in and post a crisis. We find ourselves in this pandemic, the COVID-19, and we are asking ourselves that some of us have lost jobs. Some of us have, our businesses have just wrapped up. Now, how do we move on from here to the next level? We've been looking at individual levels and what kind of businesses can these people do? Now, we want to look at cooperatives. We want to look at big businesses. We want to look at organizations. My name is Susan Opio. And my name... It's Charles Opio. We continue looking at what can I do yes. now that these things are happening. Yes. How do I reinvent myself? Exactly. And I like what you say that some businesses could have been gone yes. before COVID, yeah. pre-COVID. Yes. Now, maybe with COVID, it's almost a season of reimagining. It's exactly. like, can you reinvent yourself? Yes. Now, can we look at that? And I think this, this particular is unique because <laughs> when we looked at it, we actually laughed because you really think that a business that disappeared yes. can actually find space and be revamped and reappear. Mm -hmm. So one of these businesses that is definitely going to begin to surface because of social distancing, distancing yes. which will not end quickly and so on is drive-in movies mm -hmm. this is really funny because some people don't even know what that is some of you think it's a new idea yes actually if most people <laughs> saw this they would think wow this is a brilliant idea <laughs> exactly <Yeah. laughs> drive-in movies existed years ago and you would go in with your car into this parking lot with a big screen and be able to to watch movies and the way it used to work those days yes is that the slot where you parked had this speaker which you plugged from the side like a parking meter, mm -hmm. put it in your car and used it as the audio yes. to listen. Now with advanced technology, it's very easy. Every vehicle has an FM radio. Mm -hmm. So now you can transmit through FM. And everybody can tune into their own radio, radio to listen to the movie they are watching. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a way where families will be able to go out to the movies, couples will be able to go out to the movies. Yes. Because you just drive in with your car, social distancing no problem yes. and watch big screen movies and begin to enjoy yourself again and the beauty with this is these movies will be anywhere it can be anywhere and anywhere because we are can driving be in an open field oh yes and it can be yes. a, a gig company exactly i want to hold a movie yes. night yes so let me do this for this time i advertise exactly. people come exactly and that's it and it's a way to get together oh yes without doing anything and remember you know, it's funny that within the context of Africa, we used to have all these movies that used to, with, with huge projectors, used to travel across promoting things. Now this is going to be a whole new ball game, mm. where, like you said, it's a gig economy. Yes. Where people come up and put up a huge screen. Yes. In a field, mm -hmm. and people drive into the field, and people watch movies, and people go home. Because all I need is the field. Yes. And I need a snack company. To provide snacks. Just and, provide and, snacks. And remember gig? Yes. You just get gig companies to come and provide snacks. Yes. And remember cleaning? Oh, All yes. All the things we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Hygienic packaging. Yes. Everything will work in that world. So this is another way you can go into. I think this is interesting because if you think of driving movies only, yes. if you look at how many other people we can incorporate, when you talk of collaboration, exactly. because when you talk of the gig company, and this we have talked in our last broadcast, go back and see, mm. understand what is a gig company. Yes. We are saying that we can have security yes. as a gig company. There you go. We're talking about the cleaning services, yes. the snacks. Yes. We're talking about anything that is involved the drive-in, there can be five companies co collaborating. Absolutely. So you also don't have to say, by the way, I have the tech for the movie, no. but I don't know how to get the, I don't have money to do the snacks. Exactly. But also, you don't have somebody to else will get do it. somebody else to so do that. So this will change the ball game. Drive-in movies might begin as drive-in movies. They might end up being live streams of something. Oh, yes. They might end up being during, say, World Cup. Mm. We can't go to stadiums, Not anymore. but we can go to screens. Oh, yes. So this is just a whole new ball game. I remember we said that in yes. one of the broadcasts that when we talk about a crisis, we also have to think about depression. Yes. That families need entertainment Absolutely. because we do not know how this crisis has affected exactly. them. Exactly. So this becomes that entertainment. Yes. There you go. You know? So all these things are going to shift yes. and become greater and greater in terms of what you can do with I it. I think some of these things, as we, we are giving you examples and saying, can you think of a drive-in movie? Yes. But as we are talking, I'm wondering, why would they think? I should think about it, you know? <laughs> That's so interesting when yes. you have families coming in yeah. and they watch their movies as yes. a family. Exactly. We have couples. Yeah. We have young people who say, let's go out. There you, you know? go. So there are so many things we can it's, do. It's, it's, it's a good idea, <laughs> don't you think? Yes, we are thinking. <laughs>
<laughs> so next time I you see so. <laughs> the, the, the Opio drive-in cinema, yes. yeah, then you know what we're up to. Yes. But that thing, so these are the realities of things that are coming up. Let's talk about online movie. shopping because that's yes. another thing yes. that is becoming big in this now, season. Now, why have we put online shopping here? Mm -hmm. Most people already think, but we already do online shopping. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot more to do than we think. Yep. There's an, uh, another dynamic of online shopping that's going to come up called subscription shopping. Explain that, please. Now, here's the difference. Currently, you go online, you shop, and you buy various things. But remember what we said earlier, that if you get the three dynamics right, mm -hmm. the why, the, the affordability, affordability, and the quality. Yes. There are certain products that we are shopping online that sometimes will become common products. Mm -hmm. This is something you use every single week. Okay. It could be milk, it could be something. Why shop online every week? Why keep filling uh, your online shopping form exactly. instead of just having a subscription? Exactly. You know I use bread, I use exactly. milk, exactly. I use vegetables, I use... Yes, wow. so subscription will be when you pay a subscription hmm. for your shopping. Okay. And what happens is that you get these deliveries done all the time. Mm -hmm. I've subscribed for milk, I've subscribed for this, I've subscribed for this, and I pay this rate because we already know yes. that I use... 15 packets. Remember we talked about affordability. People now know. And uh, quality, yes. I know this milk. I use, we use it this yes. amount of time. So I so, know. So online shopping as we know it will be for things you don't normally use regularly. Yes. But subscription shopping will be things that are settled. And you're still talking about online shopping. It's online. Not in person. Nope. Because I go if online. you think about it now, in person, when you go and talk about the 1.5 meters yes. and you have 50 people who want exactly. to pay for an item you'll be there for a long time yes and at the same time and nobody wants you'll also to discover that. i also don't want to log in every day yes and shop every day the same things every week yeah so what do you do you get into subscription shopping what will happen companies will offer a discount for subscription shopping yes in other words if you prepare for milk for the month we we'll yes. give it to you at 12% off. Mm, mm. So you've prepared for it. So it gets delivered. You are giving ideas to the butchery. Yes. I mean, everybody Whoever. knows how much meat they use. Exactly. And what kind of meat they need. Subscription. Now here's the thing. Yeah. Why is this going to be another ecosystem? Okay. It means you shop, you butcher, you grocer, do statistics, pay attention to your client. Yes. If this client, you know, it's funny, you and I shop somewhere. They observed us and they said, guys, you shop here all the time. We're offering you our VIP card, remember? Mm, yes. And they said, with this card, any time you shop now is 10% off. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They've been doing their homework. I will not go somewhere else. Simple. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing bulk shopping. They have done their homework. Yes. Right now we are calling it loyalty. No, loyalty is going to shift to subscription. Yes. Subscription means I have prepaid. Mm. And secondly, I am not coming. Yes. Why should I come to your shop, line up for the things I already know I want? Mm. Why don't I simply subscribe, prepare you, and these things get delivered regularly? I think why we didn't have that before, and mm. why it did not, because some people will tell you we started that, it did not work. You started it at the wrong time. Simple. Because maybe, for example, in Kenya, people are not used to online shopping. Yes. I don't believe I will ask for vegetables and you bring for me fresh. Exactly. I don't believe I'll ask for meat and you bring yes. for me the exact parts that I need. That I need. People didn't know that. Exactly. Post-COVID, everybody has been shopping online. Simple. We've been shopping online. So, so we are now, so used to it, you can go back exactly. and say, now, can I go back to that which I started? That's what Online I'm subscription is going that to be That means when, you, when, you, when I shop online, you I'm shopping should have statistics to be able to tell what is it that I buy a lot. Mm -hmm. Then tell me, listen, you're already spending X amount, amount. of money. Yes. All time, mm -hmm. shopping online. Why don't I help you? Yes. Why don't you instead prepare this amount? And we will be filling that up. When it runs out, we'll, we'll tell you. Yes. Your subscription has run out. Or monthly, this is the agreement. Mm -hmm. And we can even say, as long as you pay this subscription, we'll guarantee you every week you get this. And also a discount. Exactly. If you get this, you have a discount on one, two, three things. Long term, it will make sense to me. Value addition. And I think yes. when you talk about that, it makes life so easy because like you're saying i don't want to go and buy i know i need milk in the house it Why is do I have to keep going for milk and, and remember the more we work from home the more we want to leave home to go exercise leisure whatever shopping will not be the main thing shopping yes. used to be fun mm -hmm. but not for essentials yes yes the shopping that will be fun is for new things mm -hmm. but not for essentials. the yeah for essentials it's almost 
tiring. And you can see why sh online shopping has shot up. Oh, yes, it has. Because it's the essentials that people are buying online. Mm. Because Remember we are saying life will never be the same. Yes. I used to enjoy shopping, and there's this mentality that ladies love shopping. Mm. No. No. <laughs> the ladies of the past. Yes. <laughs> I think changed. now you're coming to a place where you're like, yes, I enjoy shopping, not for the things, not for essentials. Not for essentials. At least for new things. Exactly. Or there are some items that I would like to just go and pick yes. for myself and feel that I've yes. picked this. And then you know, the idea of walking through 20 ales, then going to line up no. one meter apart no. with 50 people, yes. sometimes you will leave the bag and go. Mm -hmm. Instead, look, why am I doing this? It yes. can be delivered. Yeah. That's where we are headed. And you have to ask yourself, when you're listening to this and saying, wait a minute, if there's going to be online subscription, yes. who else do we need? We've mm. already talked about delivery. Yes. We've talk, talked about that. Yeah. Now, this delivery person, they yes. also have to realize they are not just going to pick milk and all this. They are also going to do quality control. Exactly. So they're not just my delivery guy. You see, let me say logic. Okay. Gig economy, subscription shopping. Okay. The gig economy means... The shop is also going to look for the most efficient courier system. Oh, yes. And that courier system must not mess the reputation of the shop. Yes. And must convince the shop that the goods will arrive in the quality yes. that they arrive. Mm -hmm. And also, in subscription, there's somebody who becomes well known for that circuit. Mm -hmm. What happens? It means as more people get into subscription in that circuit, the more work for the gig. Mm. Yeah. See how it works backwards. Mm -hmm. So if I've already been doing a particular route yes. over time and more and more people on that route come up, then what will the service do? Yes. Give me more clients mm -hmm. because of subscription on that route. Yeah. They will also enter subscription courier because mm. they don't want to invest in their own courier service. Yes. The repairs are mine. When they do that, I will also expand my business. I will also subcontract my routing it's all about you see how everybody begins to get into gig collaboration and why yes. are people doing that mm -hmm. so that tomorrow it is all predicated on you continue to subscribe yes the day you stop subscribing i remove one of the yes. routes mm -hmm. because there's no contract and it's all subscription nobody is bothered no and i think also the expansion when you see somebody saying that this um gig company yes the gig economy where you say wait I'm not investing in a facility. No. I don't have overheads. Nope. Now, how do we move this? Look, notice how everything is becoming so easy. Exactly. So easy to run. Yes. Easy to work together. Exactly. And notice something that has happened in this season. Every person has known. Everybody becomes the police. Of their own environment. Of their own environment. Absolutely. Nobody needs to police anyone. Absolutely. Now, listen to this. When you're talking about riders here, when a rider has to come and deliver something, mm -hmm. and somebody says, now, I want to be the, the gig broker. Yes. I think that would be a good yeah, name. The a gig, gig broker. broker. Where you say, I want to have five riders. Mm -hmm. Because I want these riders to have a high quality yes. uh, service. Exactly. Because right now, most riders, of course, Companies don't take water. For example, they don't deliver water. Yes. They tell yes. you, no, we don't do water. Yes. Why? It takes a lot of space. You exactly. Know? So you can't buy five of Absolutely. them. Absolutely. So what if I have a company where I say, now I'm the one controlling these riders. Yes. So you are talking to me, I'll talk to my riders. Exactly. But I'm making sure my riders are clean. Yes. If it is raining, I don't want your bottle of water to come home and you wonder. Talk of a compliance. There you go. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's also, now we are drawing ideas. All Remember, right. we're always drawing patterns and yes. showing... What other things? To show you there's nothing isolated. Mm. Every shift creates other shifts. Yes. For example, I'm a supermarket chain. I check my, that's why data analysts mm. are going to become very important. Yes. The people who come back and tell the company, this is what you're doing. This is who you're selling to. Your subscription is working like this. How can you adjust this? Mm. So some people, that's going to be your job. Oh, yes. Your job will be analytics. Mm. To be able to give feedback back and say adjust this. For example, you tell the supermarket, I've noticed in subscription in this particular area, you've got such a high demand on this particular product. Products. When you look at the transport it is costing you and all that, why don't you create a depot near them? Mm -hmm. So that now the orders determine yes. the source. Mm -hmm. So you don't, because sometimes the deliveries have a problem because of traffic, yes. because of whatever. So. Here's the gig economy. Mm -hmm. Find somebody with a facility there. Yes. Who will store for you. Then your riders will no longer need to Come do that. To, well, They'll yes. just be filling that particular depot mm -hmm. for that particular area. Then what are you going to tell your customers? 
delivering same day delivery. Yes. Two day delivery. What have you just done? Or the time when you tell me this will be delivered in 30 minutes. You're yes. like, wow, that is crazy. How do they do this? Now, notice when you're talking about you can't lack jobs. Opportunities are there. Everywhere. It is the skills. Yes. Because if you're stuck with the old mentality, then you'll not see these opportunities. Yep. And you'll always um, notice the opportunity yes. after somebody else has started. There That's you when go. you're like, wow, yes. this was all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the thing is, as you observe, various things yes what happens let's take the depot environment okay somebody used to reason that they should only do rentals not necessarily mm. i should only open a shop not necessarily mm -hmm. somebody just needs your space yes for storage mm -hmm. that's it where well, they'll bring their goods and somebody will be collecting goods from there yes and yet you can't walk into that place and buy mm -hmm. because that place only serves subscription yes so you begin to see how online subscription is going to we know when we speak here, we say one thing, but that one thing is the world. Oh, yes. It's an icon you can click on and look at what are the, all the other product environments. I think it's the question we like here uh, yes. saying, what are you hearing? Yes. Because when you talk about subscription, mm -hmm. shopping, mm. then you're like, okay, there's <laughs> something else beyond that. I'm hearing mm. just about, not just about subscription. Yes. I'm hearing now, me, I can be that other part that mm. the supermarket needs. Yes. You understand? There you go. Yeah. Remember we talked about subscription. Earlier we talked even to about some people who should start thinking about um, the possibilities. The possibilities of in your world, if you are in accounts, somebody will need to know how does that work. Yes. The, 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 the smaller players, you may not do accounting for the major company, mm -hmm. but what about the smaller company? Yes. What about the courier? Mm -hmm. What about the individual? What about me who does the subscription? Yes. Somebody needs to tell me, come and tell me, do you know what? You're spending too much time and too much money shopping online all the time. Mm -hmm. You'd rather go for subscription. Mm -hmm. you, it will save you this much. That's why we talked about accountants. We talked about bookkeeping. You we see how everything interconnects with each other? Yes. So these are some of the things. Now let's look at another thing that is going to completely okay. revolutionize how we do business. And it's funny, like we said earlier, Almost every new business is coming now from the opposite side. Yes. What looked like it was fun and entertainment mm. is what is turning into serious And business. that is what makes us know <laughs> we are truly yes. on a new terrain. Tangent. Yes. Because what, like you're saying, yeah. what we looked at here and said, this is for kids. Yes. Or I don't understand what this is for. And I just don't want to understand. You know, there are some things you feel almost like, I, why would I want to know? You go finish, you go do. Yes. Now it's becoming a necessity. Exactly. And maybe maybe here, before we go into this, let's, let's backtrack a little. Okay. To help us look at the shift here. We said that before, what caused business to thrive was national crises yes. and reactions at the governmental level. Yes. So we looked obviously at war. And we said when war occurred, war demanded certain products and services. Yes. That demand later shifted mm -hmm. into what people needed. Yes. That's why we talked about the, the vehicles, the jeeps and the hammers. Mm -hmm. We talked about Smarties, the trench coats. Sweets. We talked about sweets. <laughs> All these things that came from the higher end yes. were required and they came to the lower end. Yeah. And we kept seeing how all these things seem to carry more weight than we think. Mm -hmm. So every time something happened that was required at government level, that's when it was produced first. But we said there was a game changer. Yes. And it's important to insist on the game changer again because the next phase I'm going to talk about is now the extremes yes. of the game changer. Mm. Right now we've still talked about what people seem to be connected to. Yes. People, things people can identify with. Now what we want to talk about is kind of in the more sophisticated zone, mm. but we have to see how did we get here. Okay. And that's why we spoke about the Microsofts, where they became the game changer. By creating the environment of software and technology and innovation, suddenly we were able to marry mm -hmm. two worlds, yes. the analog and the, and digital, the digital world. Yes. And we began to see how when they said that every change that occurred was now dependent on the software platform. Yes. But what is crucial that we want to point out again is that now the ideas began to come from a different source. Mm -hmm. Ideas now began to come from what would have been play or games or Fun. those kind of ideas. Let me, let me give an example. The industry that has fast tracked computer processing more than any other industry, surprise, is the gaming industry. Hmm. Explain. 
gaming industry meaning the, the, the PlayStations, all this, because of the demand for graphics, yes. the demand for speed, the demand that forced companies to make very high-end graphics um, firmware yes. for computers. That's why we talk about high-powered computers. Mm -hmm. Now, those things change the world because we don't know, for example, that the stock market is now at the edge of technology mm. because of gaming computers. Let's go back to gaming before you go on because <laughs> when you talk about gaming and people don't understand, okay, let's talk about this gaming. Yes. More so during the crisis. Yes. How it, how it thrived also. Exactly. Yeah. But that's one industry that could not be touched. Mm -hmm. People spend more time. Gaming became so big. Let's talk about this, for example, okay. that now it was a reversal. People in the real world now had to go into the virtual world. Yes. It's actually funny, mm -hmm. but that became a reality. Yes. As in, seriously speaking, you used to be a, a driver in the Grand Prix. Yes. Now, during COVID, these drivers, the Hamiltons, mm -hmm. competed virtually. Mm -hmm. Literally, through gaming. And they had audience. They had audiences mm -hmm. globally. Yes. And in fact, there's a driver who was suspended from the league in Grand Prix because he had a kid. Mm -hmm. drive for him <laughs> because he knows the kids are better at this better than him okay That's when it how, comes to yes, virtual for virtual gaming yes so there have been virtual competitions yes across the world mm -hmm. that became as big until now for example fifa which is online yes is as certified and as serious mm -hmm. as fifa the original in person in person or it's actually handled by both yes so now, those things, as much as people think they are just games, the demand for them to be of better quality, mm -hmm. better 3D, yes. virtual reality, because of that, the processing power mm. of computers had to increase so drastically. Yes. And that changed everything. Mm -hmm. That's why the stock market, like I said, things now operate in real time. So when you're talking about uh, gaming, yes. the gaming world, it's yes. no longer for kids. Nope. It's a whole economy. It's a complete it's economy. It's a world. In fact, I was absolutely amused. Yeah. I, I recently was watching some, some gaming, uh, what they call expos. When they come together, they get together and so on. Yes. The majority of the people who appeared were in their 60s and 70s. In the gaming. In the gaming <laughs> industry. Expo, yes. Yeah, the guys who are developing games, testing games, mm. operating games. Mm. Many of the game developers are not young people. Mm -hmm. They are elderly, they are engineers. So the, the, the gaming industry is becoming a necessity. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. not just to the young generation. Yes. Yeah. And let, let me explain another thing. For example, in just animation and 3D, okay. they now apply formulas. They apply physics. Yes. They apply engineering. In other words, what you see formulated in a game is tested as a physics thing that is actually real. Mm. And so what is real in the natural world yes. is being placed in the virtual world and it's giving exactly precise now it has gone beyond that okay those capacities have been able to predict things for example now through virtual reality and gaming mm -hmm. people can predict earthquakes okay and they can use what is called um uh i'll get the term right now you can use technology to kind of paint forward, yes. show you, say, if an earthquake happened here, mm -hmm. it, through animation and ac accurate physics, yes. it can actually forecast how far the, the impact effect. would be. Okay. You can simulate. Uh -huh. You can now simulate real case scenarios. Yes. Disease, for example. Mm. You can take a disease and put it into a gaming engine. And you can look at it and it can tell you if this thing began to infect. That is how we were getting projections on COVID. Yes, how this happened, if this happened yes, in this city. Yes, that if this happens, we'll have X million people if this is not done. Using a gaming engine. Exactly. Something would think it's for kids. Not anymore. Something would think this is not relevant now. Exactly. And let's talk about uh, profitability. Yes. When you talk of gaming, is there money? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the biggest businesses. Yes. There are gamers who earn not just in terms of competition, yes. but in terms of testing technology. They're employed by the original companies okay. because of their knowledge and use. That's where the research comes from. Mm -hmm. For them to be able to say, how do we improve this technology? So you're saying that here I am, yes. I create my game, yes. then I release it yes. to a few people or a number of people in Experts. different continents. Yes. They play the game and test so that it. they can give me feedback. Exactly. All right. And once I've developed that game All right. and it's working perfectly, that technology, mm. that processing power okay. is what the movie companies begin oh, to use. Yes. 
to produce their mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. That's where the camera companies begin to make their software yes. because there's types of software that can only run on types of processes. Mm. So you see how now the entertainment industry is driving industry. Industries. Literally. Virtual industries yes. are driving reality Real industries. industries. There you go. So the shift is so incredible yes. in terms of how this works. And it, it's so important for us to see how the, the game has changed. Mm. Literally, the game has changed. The game. <laughs> Even though we are, we're talking about gaming. So that is how we are able. I mean, today, you're able to watch us on some of the most high-end quality video. Mm -hmm. What caused that processing power? Mm. What was it tested on? Mm. It started by entertainment. Now it's no longer entertainment. Now it's what is required in mm. the industry. Yes. When you call something of industry standards, it is normally tested in a natural environment. Mm. So we are getting this major shift that is bringing us from one environment yes. to another. And that is why it's so important to understand that all those things that we've been speaking about, some of them are natural shifting to this environment. Okay. But we are soon going to look at how what you call game changing appearances yes. are now going to shift everything to a completely new level. I think what I'm hearing is as somebody is listening to this that um, we even now have to think of the courses we are taking. Yep. We said that some of these courses are not in schools. Nope. That is where you need to go no. to yeah. online yeah. learning yes because some of these gaming companies mm -hmm. have their own tutorials because yes. this thing we are doing the gaming we are doing is not in a school the software we developed there's nobody who can teach you this is no nobody out there yes so when we talk about schooling we are now going back to a place where we are saying that you can be doing um uh you are learning yes online at home yes but what you're doing is uh on a global level actually let's use an example i don't know if you've ever watched the movie called avatar most to develop have. that movie, yes. they had to invent software. Mm -hmm. Because what the director wanted, yes. the quality they wanted, mm -hmm. the background, because they were creating a complete new world. Mm -hmm. Now to do that, they needed whatever was available didn't exist. Yes. So there were companies that had to develop new software that could produce that world. After that movie, that software became available now for animators to do other things. You can see what you're talking about, <laughs> collaboration and talking about open source, talking yes. about coming to a place of understanding that where we are going to, we really have to shift how we yeah. think. And that's what we call business unusual. unusual. Keep tracking.